one there and two there. Handmade mounting brackets to fire this car up on four 40, 50,000 volt vertex magnetos. If you took this magneto out of there and held it, gave it to one of your plug wires in one of your hands and spun it over by hand, it would knock you right out cold right where you're sitting, if not even worse. But they are deadly and they provide all the spark for these motors. Thanks a lot, Bill. Bruce Larson. When he got this car, the car was in pieces. It wasn't in this kind of shape. He's been working on this car for years, and this is his. <coughs> this is the way, the way the car ended up, and the craftsmanship on the motors and the car, and he's so proud of it. How you doing, boy? All right. Injectors with the vertex magneto. Pump gas. Pump gas. This is on pump gas. It don't matter what the car looks like, just let the car runs. It runs real good. <laughs> it sounds like it's on fuel. Come on, baby. 83 cubic inches. There is some go juice. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the Eastern um, Museum of Motor Racing. And that's on pump gas. Tell me he don't know what he's doing. This thing screams. <laughs> Look at it. Thanks a lot. Good show. Okay, get to the name for Not going to fire it up. My daughter moved down Kowalski, in here. Is that yours? This is a small block flathead Ford with three two-barrel carburetors, Stromberg 94, Stromberg 97s, right here, fuel log. Vertex Magneto, pump gas up there, straight gas. And this is a Lindwood chassis, original chassis wow. from the 50s and the 60s. Right here. They're taper. not going to fire it up. They're just proud of the car. They want you to see the car with 1960s wow. tires. That's cool. Okay. I got to zoom in on this. Glenn, okay, now we're gonna see look at that. That's the definitely a Glenn hood scoop. Hang on. Next one starting up, we gotta get there. <laughs> <laughs>
from others that are trying to work out the bugs and get it squared away to entertain you from Wilkes-Barre, Now they're going to drain the cylinders out by cranking it over by hand. They don't want no raw fuel laying in the cylinders. Thank you very much. That's just too big. Right up right now, the boss are husband and wife team with Hillborn injectors and a small block Chevy Hillborn injectors. This motor is all brand new. The fuel is up in here. She's squirting gas in here to get it fired. And look at the shape of this car. This car is legally raced at a local drag strip. This car wins countless car shows with the way this car looks. It's a Studebaker, something you don't see very often. They love this car. They also have another car similar to this, but this is a wild piece of drag racing material. A Hillborn. This car runs B gas at the local drag strip. It was built by Charlie Garrett. They were built. It was built by built and raced by Charlie Garrett. Yeah, he's an engine builder. He builds engines and builds speed work. on pump gas for the street and just look at the immaculate beautiful car into detail years and years to construct this car thank you very much good ride now we go over to the that is gorgeous <laughs>